Okay, let's do question 17D yeah, here. Question 17D. 17D says differentiate the following function with respect to x and y is given to you x. Square root x minus 3. Okay, so it is always better when you do differentiation to convert the square root into power first, right? So um, we are not differentiating yet, yeah? We're still copying the y, making it into a um, power, that's power half. Okay, so now if you can see that there's an x here. So again, please do not use the composite function method. There's an x here, so you cannot put half times x. You have to differentiate the x as well. So when there's an x outside here, multiply it with something power like this. The pattern, the pattern is like this. You have to use the composite function method. Okay, the composite function method. Oh, sorry, you have to use the product rule method. Okay, the product rule method. The product rule method says you have to copy the front and differentiate the back, right? So copy the front, differentiate the back. This one, you use the composite function method, this one, on its own. Okay, so that's a half in front here. Copy. And the power, you have to minus 1. So half minus 1 is negative half. And differentiate inside, it's a 1. Now plus, just now copy front, differentiate back. So this is the copy front, and this is the differentiation of the back. Now plus, copy the back, and differentiate the front. Differentiation of x is just a 1, so it's not so complicated as the previous one. Only you have power half and negative half. Okay, so now at this point, let's look at it slowly. There is an x minus 3, and there is an x minus 3 here. The rest of the things you can ignore, you cannot factorize, yeah? So what can you factorize out? Well, in this case, an easier way would not be factorizing because it's a negative half and a half. So um, an easier way would be doing it individually. So let's do this term first. The power negative half, you're going to bring it down. So this is um, x over 2 times 1. That's x over 2, right? So it's x over 2, and we're going to bring this down, right? So that becomes x minus 3 to the power of half, right? So that becomes square root of x minus 3, right? You, you've brought it down. Then plus, this is times 1. So this is the root of x minus 3. So now it's so much simpler, right? Okay, you cannot leave your answer like this. There, there are two terms. You have to combine the two terms. It means you have to do the fraction. So this you do over... This is an over 1, right? Over 1. So you multiply it with 2 square root x minus 3. The reason is because I want to make the denominator to be the same so that I can do. So multiply this, so multiply with 2 x minus 3. Okay, so now in this case, the denominator is 2 x minus 3, right? And the top would be x plus, so 2 x minus 3 times x minus 3 square root, right? So no more square root, so that gives you 2 x minus 3 and that's it so we can simplify uh, you can simplify this right so this becomes x plus 2 x minus 6 that so that is 3 x minus 6 over 2 root of x minus 3 okay so if you can simplify this then take this out there's a 3 here x minus 2 and a 2 with a square root of x minus 3. And this is the final answer in the simplest form. Factorize to the most that you can. Okay, so now uh, this may seem to be a little bit different from the uh, previous questions that you have done because there's square root, negative square root, and positive square root. So you've got to make them into square root. Um, so this will come from experience. Yeah, You have to practice. So that's how uh, you can come to the final answer. If you leave your answer halfway anywhere here, you uh, probably you will get your marks deducted. All right, so that's uh, 17. Now, in the next video, we are going to do question 18 and 19 and 20. So 18 is uh, more practices on the division, the quotient rule. Remember the quotient rule, the one that you divide, copy, bottom, differentiate, top thing. So we're going to do that in 18 uh, and some additional stuff on 19 and 20. All right, I'll see you in the next video.